Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Gasmas Guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to maintain your gas mask during the coronavirus pandemic. Now, quite simply, when the, like I said, the biggest benefit about wearing these masks is they're reusable. The bacteria usually dies according to uh, information on plastic in 24 hours to three days on metals and stuff. So it's, it is a good idea to make sure you sanitize your mask before reuse, because the last thing you want is... You've worn the mask, there's bacteria all on it, and the bacteria's traveled to the inside, or the filter's compromised due to the amount of bacteria that's gone into it. And the easiest way to fix this is, one, um, is daily maintenance. Every day you got to wash your mask. This is something a lot of gas mask users probably don't know. But then again, most of you might. I'm just putting this out there for anyone who doesn't know, and I'm just going to show you how I do it. So... In my case, so let's look at my Israeli gas mask that I usually use in public all the time. I usually use surface wipes. Now this one is not the one you should be using, but I'm all out of antibacterial wipes as of yesterday. So I've been using rubbing alcohol instead, which does the trick. But pretty much it'll look similar to this. Pretty much you take a wipe out and you wipe down your mask thoroughly. You wipe it down thoroughly. Make sure that all your surfaces are covered with the antibacterial wipe. Same with the inside. You might want to use a separate one for the inside just in case. And then, yeah, you're good to go once it's, it, once it's dried. Now, another thing, too, is I recommend having two filters or more. Because at the end of the day, and I dropped it, whoops. At the end of the day, you just, all you have to do is take out the filter, leave it for 24 hours or more. So the bacteria could die inside it and then put a new filter in for the new day you use it and then swap, swap, and swap. Maybe one day you'll put, like you'll put a mark on this one saying this is number one and the other one's number two filter. And then pretty much just screw it in. You're good to go. Make sure you, uh, you have more than one filter. If you have only one filter, I'd suggest restricting the days you go out to maybe like once every two days, etc. If you don't have a job like many people do right now, uh, there's no reason to go out, but I'm just showing you this just in case. Now the other method, rubbing alcohol, does the trick perfectly fine. You either put it in your hand and rub it around the mask or put it onto a sponge and do that. And that does the trick, make sure the sponge is clean. So that's another way of sanitizing your mask. And last but not least, so here I have is a diving mask. The Italians are currently using this in their hospitals to uh, treat corona patients. I'm just going to take off this. I've had an op shop for $2, <clears throat> but I thought I'd use it as an example to wash a mask because I need that today for when I go to work. So I'm just going to wash this one. And pretty much all you do is very similar to the wipes and the rubbing alcohol. You put it into the drink, as we call it, the soapy water, and you wash it. You're rubbing down every surface with your hand constantly, making sure that it is all washed because you want to kill that bacteria you don't want that bacteria inside of you so make sure you wipe it all down and pretty much when you're done give it a good old rinse it doesn't really matter and then leave it out to dry don't put it in the direct sunlight it will destroy the mask but for example see the table behind me just put it onto that table to dry for 24 hours and you'll be good and if you can't wait um, pretty much put it in a windy area, so maybe turn on your fan, or if it's windy outside, it's your lucky day. So, yeah, so that's pretty much how you maintain your mask for use every day. I'm putting out this video because, just in case, people don't understand how to use their gas masks. And that's perfectly fine. Everyone makes mistakes. And also, too, um, if you were using regular respirators like the, um, the P2 respirator or all the other government-suggested respirators, you just throw those out after use. These ones... Um, saves resources, all you have to do is rinse it out, and your filters will pretty much last forever during this virus. So yeah. Now, another thing too, good thing about keeping maintenance is checking your seal, which is you breathe in while putting your hand over this to make sure the mask vacuums to your face, and you also check the filter for any cracks or any uh, signs of like it's falling apart. Now this one hasn't. These filters are pretty good and made pretty well for Chinese filters. So yeah. So yeah, so that's pretty much my video. That's how you take care of your mask. Just make sure you wash it, and you'll be good to go. Anyway, hope you guys stay safe. I'll see you guys later.